Bernie Kennerson and the Art of the Ewe here with a first look at Sample Tank on iPad. I've got my Ewe 4000S into my iRig MIDI into my iPad. Now, Sample Tank does not have any MIDI learns on it or MIDI controls, but it does accept a, a short list of MIDI uh, CC messages. Breath control isn't one, but it does accept volume. So you can check that list out in the documents. But all I did was in my Ewe, I went on to into my breath uh, control there, and I turned on uh, BO, which is the volume, which is CC7, and now I can play everything on here. So let's just go uh, with a mono synth first. Okay, it works, responds well, <clears throat> it gets all around. Uh, I'm sure you want to hear some other packages. Best way, I like this screen here. You could have four different instruments up. This will do four different parts, four no polyphony. Uh, I have a couple of these to different mini channels because I'm going to show you how to play with this, have a little fun with it uh, in a minute. Uh, I've got it on part mode so I can see all four. So if I just get <clears throat> off of this, now I can change uh, for this part B which I was playing. Uh, let's check out some of the woodwinds. Uh, let's check out this tenor sax. <laughs> Works, works, uh, flutes aren't bad. A little uh, variety there. I've got all the instruments like uh, they have sample tank free cost you nothing you get a handful of sounds uh the full sample tank app uh is worth it and uh you know i have the irig midi so i got an extra little bonus pack so i have every voice that's available you see a long list here you know clarinet doesn't really have a mono legato mode you can access but if you just back off of your breath a little bit uh, these don't have a real harsh uh, re-trigger on them so you, they can be played they're playable you know do I have better sounds in my laptop and some other things yeah and better uh, the sounds themselves are, are close to the same I mean it's from the great sample tank libraries you just don't quite have the controls as the full version of sample tank but i mean the fun thing about having an ipad is having access to stuff that's you know so uh portable you know this this would satisfy me if i was just having some fun and uh they're very very playable very playable let's check out the oboe everybody wants to hear about an oboe And see, with your breath set to volume, you can still do that uh, nice amplitude vibrato that you'd want to do uh, with a Nobo. You know, a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's check out the brasses. It's nice how these are categorized. You know, come on, brass, there you go. Uh, there's a nice one down here I actually liked. Uh, I'm not going to have time to go through a bunch of these. These two trumpets. Nice thing is, is you know, regardless of whether, oh, does it sound exactly like a real trumpet, these patches are fun and playable, and they respond to the Ewe, so you can be expressive. Just, you know, try and play the patch themselves. Nothing under the mod wheel there. I've got my glide strips at the mod wheel. You see the mod wheel moving right there. 
So if something's under there, uh, you know, vibes, you know, here's these, uh, Alright, I keep my upper plate set to CC64 sustain, so when I call up polyphonic patches like this, uh, I can play some chords. There you go, a lot, you know, organs, all the family of instruments are, are here, you know, fun things to do a lot of times people want to hear the uh strings fast violin <laughs> you go fast violin uh, a lot of these are samples that this one isn't looped so I mean if you just hold it out it, it ends you know that's so fast violin is when you want to play some uh, fast violin things I uh, don't have time to go through a whole bunch of sounds so I won't there but you know you can as fun to do with the Ewe play some drums kinds of kits in here. Look at all these kits. A little bit of variety in these kits. Uh, electronic stuff. Even not, like nice uh, brushes. <sighs> Electric pianos. The synth leads, you know, are all, all right here. Ready to go. playing lead sense it's nice to have some cutoff filter so this will accept CC 64 for the cutoff filter which you really can't assign a breath on the 4000 s but I played this with my Ewe USB where I set my breath control to send both CC 7 volume and CC 74 cutoff filter so then I can control both this volume and the cutoff filter which works great with synth, pa synth patches cutoff doesn't work as well with sample patches because it makes them sound uh, more unrealistic so, uh, you know, good variety here on these leads. A lot of these, you call them up, you know, sound like uh, Ewe patches. Not that one in particular, but... You know, and you can control right away, you know, any of this you want. What I mean by the cutoff not being on is let's... Yeah, there's nice. See what they do is give you a little variety, so you can't really tweak these. They'll give you like you know four, five different versions of this soft lead. I like that one right there. So I mean, here's what I don't have when I don't have cut off. Nice thing to know about that cutoff though is that's a nice knob to just go to to maybe dial this sound in if you like it a little softer, you know. There you go, we're very responsive. Let's see, now I want to show you some of the other fun things you can do with this, some of the different uh, sections of it. Where's my uh, lead I was using? Hold on. Uh, I was using this certain lead for this song I like to jam on, but I'll just leave that one. 
there's a mic. Okay, so we go back over here. When you put the parts on, then you can see all four parts. All you got to do is tap this to set these things to a different MIDI channel. The great thing about Sample Tank is it's got a ton of patterns and uh, different things like that in it, which uh, makes it so you can jam things like this. Let's go over to the pads. You know, I've got my drum kit on this C part. Let's just get it going here. Okay. Not sure why it's not going there. Let me go over here to my... Oh, somehow that volume got done. Oh, because you know what it was? I had, I had set my e to these and uh, played them a little bit before I made this. But anyway, let's go back to the, to the pads here. And you see I got this pattern started. Let me bring in the bass here. nice little groove. Of course, I can change this bass lick right here. Alright, so I like that one right there. Kind of like the way the drums is going. Let's go back to my sounds here. And, uh, oh, let's, let me let you 